Hello everybody, once again welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a planning out the budget for paycheck number two in February of 2020. Uh, we are going to put all of the budget categories for paycheck number two for February of 2020 right here. As you can see, I've got them all penciled out. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in ink really quick and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have that all in pen and I colored it up a little bit, make it look a little bit February themed, we're gonna go ahead and go through and put the amount that I need to put into each category from this check. Now, most of these numbers are gonna be almost identical to these numbers because this is the second half of February when for the total amount, we budgeted over here is for the month and we divided it in half. So most of these numbers on this side are gonna be very, very similar if not identical to this side. But we're gonna go ahead and lay it out in ink so that way it is set in stone and we are good to go. I have a plan for the month, I have a plan for my money. Every dollar has an assignment, every dollar has a purpose, no dollar is unaccounted for and I know where my money is at all times. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the amount received. So I have a starting point. On this paycheck, I received 14, 29. So that way I know where my starting point is and I'll be able to break down my money accordingly. So for my rent, I'm going to need 283. For my TV and Wi-Fi, I need 32. For my cell phone, I need $60. Grocery is 75. Spending is going to be 35. Restaurant is 25. Fast food is 15. Laundry is five. Now I did get a storage unit because I realized that I have a few too many boxes to store in our closets in our apartment. So I got a cheap little unit. Uh, I'm expecting it to be right around $45 a month. Probably gonna save $50 a month just to be on the safe side there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 25 into here. My electron, my CTA is 20 for the month. So it's going to be 10 off of this paycheck. Electricity is going to be 40. Spotify is 10. Coffee is 20. Beach body is going to be 10. Debt I am going to leave blank for right now and I will go back in and put the all of the money that is extra from this number minus the other categories and I'll put that total here. Hulu is going to be five. Amazon Prime is going to be so my sinking funds, I'll pull out in cash, put them in my cash envelopes and have them in the safe is going to be $20 for my fish, $5 for airport travel is going to be 20, Christmas is 25, Pirate Christmas is 10. You may notice that I'm following down along this side. 
Again, most of these numbers are going to be the same, and it's because the numbers on this page are just divided in half. So, new car is going to be 50, new apartment is going to be 50, gifts is going to be 10, toiletries is going to be 15, clothing is going to be 20, spring training is 25. I am getting so excited for spring training. Go Cubs go. Ballroom is going to be 10. Transportation is going to be 15. So now I'm going to add these up really quick and see what is left when I subtract this amount from here to put on my debt line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 1429 I'm going to subtract 930 from it. No, 29. It's 499. So that is the amount that I'm going to put toward my debt this month. Sorry, not even this month, this paycheck. I'm going to put $499 off of this paycheck into my debt snowball. So. That number, I think, will actually eliminate one of my loans. I'm pretty sure I will double check that number and I will let you know. So, that is what I have right now for my monthly breakdown for my paycheck. Every single dollar has an assignment. If I were to add all of these numbers again, I would equal $14.29. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down my cash expenses and sinking funds. Over here in my cash breakdown, I will take this breakdown to the bank with me when I go pull that cash out. So that way I am able to have the correct change to put in each envelope. So, I've mentioned before, rent and TV and Wi-Fi, they stay in the account and then they get transferred, but I consider them a cash expense. So we'll start with cell phone. Cell phone is 60, so I need a 50 and a 10. Grocery is 75, so I'm going to do three 20s, a 10, and a 5. Spending is 35, so I'm going to do 20, a 10, and a 5. Restaurant is 25, so 25. Fast food is 15. Laundry is a 5. Storage unit is a 25. So a 20 and a 5. Fish is a 20. Airport's 5. Travel is 20. Christmas is 20 and a 5. Pirate Christmas is a 10. New car is 50. New apartment is 50. Gifts is 10. Toiletries is 10 and a 5. Clothing is a 20. Spring training is a 20 and a 5, and ballroom is a 10. Okay, so now I'm going to say, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 50s, 11, 20s, 8, 10s, 10, 5s. Let me add those up really quick. So I have total in my in cash line, I have 815. Now, as I mentioned, these two versus two are going to not be taken out of the bank. They're not in this breakdown. So I'm gonna subtract those two from my number. So this number should equal 500 once I add it all up, because that is these categories here, minus the rent and TV Wi-Fi, because those stay in the account. So the rest of these numbers should equal 500, so should this breakdown. So 350s is 150, 
plus 11 20s is 220, plus 8 10s is 80, plus 10 5s is 50. And that equals 500. So I will take this to the bank and I will have them give me that cash and when I have that back, I will come back and we will do a cash envelope stuffing. So that should be out in the next day or two. Please let me know if you have any questions about the way I lay out my budget or if any of this doesn't make any sense, please leave a comment in the section below. If you do like it, please give that a big thumbs up, push that subscribe button so you can continue to follow me on my journey and also share with your friends. If you have any friends who are trying to figure out how to do a budget, send them my way. So thanks once again for following along. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.